Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. This is part of the team event that's going on right now. Uh, the last one was the Thirty Years War. This series is going to be the Ottomans and their enemies. So to start off, as usual, it's a mix of historical and random map battles. First battle is a historical battle, Ohach, 1526. It's possible that I pronounced that correctly. Uh, historically, it was a complete disaster for the Hungarians, and of course, I am commanding the Hungarians. So, we'll see how this goes. There is a nice screen of light cavalry for the Turks, and then a bunch of shooting non-light cavalry, and then way in the back, dug in behind, I think historically might have been a wagon, a bunch of wagons chained together. Uh, are the Janissaries and artillery. So yeah, and the only artillery we have are light guns, so it's on the Hungarians to attack. That being said, there are intelligent ways to attack, and hopefully that's what we're going to do. We'll shift our shooty medium foot to fight in these forests, and we will send our own light cavalry to support them so they don't just get charged. And let's see, medium foot, and foot can advance into the marsh as well. With our own light cavalry and support. This central block can just trundle forward. Good. And then our knights will split between the two flanks. And we'll keep King Louis of Hungary and the Royal Guard in reserve behind the center. There we go. Not very subtle, but it'll do. Next turn. <clears throat> Might drive the king off the field before we even make contact. Both stretching out for the flanks. There we go. Want to slow the advance a little despite the cannon fire because I want to get our rear infantry involved. Okay, next turn.
Lucky. Well, let's try it again. Frag, do I dare to charge? Probably not. Take me to bad places. All right. The advance is kind of being broken up, but I don't think that's avoidable. All right, onward. Next turn. And the downside of taking my time to get my lines dressed is the possibility of disruption from artillery fire increases. Like so. Good. It's a start. Maybe we'll push that way. Draw this disrupted unit and keep inching forward with the infantry. Seize that wood. Very good. And begin some harassing fire. Bit risky for all our medium foot to be moving out like this, but uh, we gotta take some risks, I suppose. Alright, and on this flank, same sort of deal, inch forward with the foot. Hmm. not sure. I don't think the tracks, the obstacle will offer protection if they charge from this direction, although I'm not entirely certain. So I'm not, not inclined to take the risk being unsure. Next turn. Endless cannon fire, yes. Oh, I guess they just showed up. 
that's kind of annoying. If I would known about it, I could have done something about it. <sighs> but I don't know the scenario that well, so I just got roasted for it. Oh, well, so much for my careful plan. Well, at least the chaos has encouraged him to push forward with the sort of aggression that he might not have employed otherwise. Okay. How some melee? Not great. This is good. Francis Batiani, Ban of Croatia. Light lancers and bow and swordsmen. Probably should have like actually looked at the unit types here instead of just kind of bungling through. Works for me. Get our arquebusiers in the rough ground. Javelins. Hmm. All right then, shove them off. Interesting place to end up. All right, let's prepare to get our knights into contact. Below average Bohemian and Moravian pikemen. And the Royal Guard into action. Alright, if he's going to just shove his whole wing forward, then we will meet it. And if they're just going to sit there, then we'll ignore them. Because right now, at least, we can afford to. into the rough ground. Okay, do we fall back, take a cohesion check, or... The melee is actually not bad. Why is that? Hungarian crossbowmen. Crossbowmen, light spear 50%. Very good. Lock them in. No frag. Good. All right, we'll engage on both wings and hopefully not collapse because of this whole situation. Very unfortunate. Next turn. Ooh. Ouch. 
kinds of things going wrong. keeping his cavalry out of charge range of my knights until he can disrupt them with fire. Grim, gotta make it into melee contact or else we're gonna fall apart. Okay, what to do? It's a good start. Oh, we're going in anyway. Is there a light foot so we can take a volley and not turn in fire? Apparently. Okay. Great. We'll then run away. all kinds of unforced errors here. More pesky light horse out of the way. What have we got? Or just frag, that's good too. All right. Medium foot. I keep getting tripped up by. I mean, there's a graphics for the light foot in base skirmish module, but these are medium foot, so they can't just turn and fire after that. Pretty messy. I don't think we're going to do too well here. Next turn.
What does that do for us? Nothing. Worse than nothing. Exposes our flank. What does that do? Still nothing. Firm. Well, the king is fleeing. Good start. Setting a fine example. Confused myself there as well. I thought those were light cavalry and I didn't bother reading the unit description. I wonder why he didn't just charge there. Alright, now we've evened out, lost our 8 point lead in a single turn. I'm getting all confused by these unit graphics. <laughs> what a mess. Well, I've thrown away a good position here. Can't quite reach them. Well, let's break them and see where it takes us. Not what I had in mind. Well, we're going to get flanked, but then we can flank again if we hold. charge here and see if we pursue into the dis disrupted unit. Let's do it. No. We have to charge here even though it's terrible. Medium foot, impact foot, swordsman.
All right. We have no way to protect this flank. We can fall back and get shot at, or we can just charge and die. That's what we're going to do. If we're lucky, they'll break in the melee before we can get charged, but I don't think we'll be that lucky. Now I'm mousing over all the units for all of it it's going to do me. So these are, so this is why I was getting confused. This is a light horse graphic, but they're actually non-light horse. And just did not pay that much attention. All right, next turn. I've seriously mismanaged this between forgetting about the Ottoman reinforcements and mixing up light and non-light troops. I put myself at a pretty substantial positional disadvantage, despite the fact that I'm only fighting part of part of his army right now with my full army. We don't break, but we do. Very nice, holding firm there. Ugh, so we went from a 7% lead to a 2% lead in one turn. That could be helpful though. Oh, oh no, not at all helpful. Oh, I can catch one unit at least. Can't charge here because our own men are in the way. We got medium foot, light foot. And zone of control lock to protect our flank. Very good. Run away. These are also medium foot. It's so confusing. This is a light foot graphic.
don't really know what I'm doing here. Okay, then what? Medium foot, white horse. They held firm, too bad. Let's threaten flank charges. Good. Let's shove these off. And then if we break them, we might pursue into this unit of Sapahis. Perfect. That is very helpful. and harass them as they attempt to return to the fight. Oh yeah, you're screwed. Um, you could try to run out of charge range of this unit, which would not really make us any more, any less screwed than we already are. Um, due to the flankers there, could move out of flank range and then get shot at by everybody. Mm. You're it. All right, try to get out of charge range and just delay things for a bit then. Next turn. Bellas mentioned on the forums that he also had been confused by the light skins being used for mediums, but luckily that was during a practice match for him. Uh, the sort of thing that I'm generally too lazy to do, unfortunately. Mm, nicely done. Forced to flank assault on this unit.
Now, do they pursue into us? Yep. Okay. Well. Let's lock them in so they can't charge. Block their escape route. Try a disruption. Nope. I'm going to charge in. Just need to hold in. No. All right. Light horse swarming all around our position. Let's fall back into this obstacle. Oh, they're so slow. Why are they so slow? Join in, but I think we need to cover the rear. This is looking suspiciously like a disaster. Next turn. Two rallies. Uh, we couldn't quite break them, so we're going to get flanked and lose some knights. Oh, you bastards. God, if they just held firm there. Oh. Uh oh, they're screwed as well. I've been very frustrated by my initial mistakes from 
not be able to tell what unit is what, but to be honest, I'm not sure if that made all the difference that my frustration would suggest. Okay, well, first things first, get in there. Okay. Let's assist our Hungarian nobility trying to catch this cavalry. You've got to get in, it's all you can do. Oh god, they're gonna auto-break. What a shame. Okay, next up, try to hunt these Gazis. And you... Good. Try to catch them, or do we hmm, stand and get shot at? Is a question. Uh, do it? No. Okay. Red got pinned in here. Damn, hoping for a disrupt. What a disaster. Next turn. Really? Oh, that's a shame. It was a gamble, but we didn't really have a choice. If we hold out for one round of melee, that won't matter. Ugh. Thirty four and thirty four now. We do hold out for a turn. Ugh.
Okay. Well, first things first. No. Oh, that's a little bit awkward. Okay. Next up. No. Very good. Do we shoot or try to catch them again? Shoot. What a waste of a good unit. Okay. And then we need to start trying to confront these Azap Spearmen, I think. Hoping for a frag there. Charge. There's the frag. Okay. Then what? Shoot at the lights? Or shoot at the mediums? Let's shoot at the lights because we can actually catch them at close range. Good. And charge. Reinforce that success if needed or not. And what are you doing? There's nothing really they can do without support from the Arquebusiers. That's it. Complete chaos. I have really no idea what's going on at this point. Okay, continuing the saga of having no idea what the hell is going on. Forty-three to thirty-six. I'm surprised he hasn't brought out the Janissaries. I mean, at this point, I don't feel like I could do much to them. Okay, do we pursue? I think we do. If we turn around to move away, they'll just turn around and shoot at us. It's a near criminal waste of a unit. Here we go. Heavy foot, not warriors, so I think they won't be able to charge directly into us. Yes, charge us, please, then we can get another volley in. Here 
Very good. Next turn we'll break them. Disrupted. Do we pile on? Or do we zone of control lock? Better yet, let's not risk getting charged ourselves, but lock them out of charging. Okay, in the meantime, let's invite him to charge our mercenary arquebusiers if he would like to get countercharged by our mercenary pike. Good. Okay. Oh, and that's everyone. Hmm. Always a good sign. Next turn. Excellent. Less excellent. Bounce it. Good. Oh, I thought... Oh, for Christ's sake, it strikes again. I thought they were lights. It's a stupid lights graphic. Fucking A. I just did not look. Oh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> it's just so frustrating. Right, we're still winning this overall, so I'm going to get in position to flank. Light foot, light foot, and heavy foot. Hmm. Light horse, not light horse. Okay. They move this way, then away from the guard cavalry. Good. Can we catch him? It's worth a try. We do catch them, although we're in dangerous territory now. Go for the rake. Hmm. Well, they're screwed. Cavalry. Yeah, this is a light cavalry graphic once again. Just absolutely slaying me. All right. Next turn. We have continued total confusion.
That is very bad timing. Unit is doomed. Fifty seven. How's that? Oh, crossbowmen. Very nice. And a break there. If you'd run that unit away, the top left light unit, we wouldn't have a chance to do what we are about to do. Auto brakes, very nice. Okay, what's going on now? Armored sipahis. Well, oh, take cover in the rough, it's all you can do. Good. Catch that flank. Very unpleasant. Once we get into melee, it shouldn't matter, however. Almost caught him. Out of charge range. And fire. Tempted to simply stand and shoot. Good. Then, do what we can to guard these missile units. We got highly superior guard cavalry. And these are once again. So, okay, not only is it the unit skin that looks like lights, but their movement range is that of lights. But they don't evade and they are down lights in every other way except their range and their appearance. Uh, I'm not a fan. But if no one rallies, we'll win anyway. Big if. Next turn. 59, unfortunately, we still have work to do. Thanks to a rally. All right. They held firm, but not for long. Good, we held out. Maybe that'll do the trick then. 62. Okay, 
So on a small scale, this was really frustrating because of my repeated mistaking the custom units using light unit skins that were not lights, uh, both my own and the enemies. Um, but that being said, on a more tactical play level, I think with this game so close, had Seto brought out the Janissaries from the entrenchments, he could have won this thing. If he'd shifted the Janissaries over to the rough ground, especially, especially these forests, I would have really suffered. Uh, and, you know, I never even attempted to threaten these entrenchments because I was never in a position to do so. So I really think that he was working with his hands tied behind his back, leaving those troops there. Still, a complete bloodbath, and I had no idea what was happening by mid-game. Uh, I really hope that the future uh, custom scenarios we use in this, uh, it's not exactly a tournament series, but team play series, have less uh, custom unit skins to confuse me. Because apparently, even when I try to remind myself, I'm just too lazy to double check them. <laughs> but uh, a good game to Seto. He played very well. Till next time.